So I'm just going to invite you to just drop into your center, come into your solar plexus where you have beautiful, imagine you have a beautiful ball of blazing yellow gold sunlight in your solar plexus. And that this ball of yellow gold sunlight is filled to the brim with excitement, filled to the brim with joy, filled to the brim with a, a positive anticipation for what is coming up on this planet. And and I often say this in my groups, you know, often we look into the unknown and we and we let ourselves feel fear or trepidation and we think, oh, God, I don't know what's there, so it's probably not something very nice. But if we can flip our perspective and go, God, what if the unknown was endless light and miracles and abundance and opportunity and joy? And what if we didn't know what was around the corner, but we could feel that it was the best thing ever? It was like, you know, the night before Christmas when you were a kid, you know, what if what if what, we're standing on the precipice of just the best thing ever and we're going to be stepping into the best experience of life we ever could have, we ever could imagine. And this is the energy that these beings bring. So I want you to really feel that giddy excitement bubbling up in your belly. Just let yourself feel it. Let it move through your system. And we're going to breathe in light from all of the cosmos. And I'm particularly seeing this yellow gold frequency coming in from Lyra. Beautiful, beautiful Lyra. And we're just allowing that to fill our energy field and our being. And as we do, we're connecting in also with the gold um, frequencies in the earth and all the golden crystals. So the citrine and the honey calcite and all of the golden crystals in the earth. Um, and also I'm wearing my gold tektite and I love this stone. I've also got golden um, ritalated quartz on today. It's all the gold. So tuning into the golden grids in the earth and beyond the cosmic raise the solar flares calling in the golden frequencies into your belly expanding that inner sun and you can expand it with your pure intention your pure will and intention just feel it getting stronger more powerful the certainty of joy what if joy and bliss and goodness and miracles and all the good stuff was guaranteed what would that feel like the certainty of joy, letting it move through all of your DNA, your cells, your molecules, your atoms, expanding that inner sun now right out into the room around you, around your auric field, and sending it out as far as it needs to go. And if you want to put it out around your whole house, that would be optimum for this meditation, around your home and everyone in it, your pets, your children, your loved ones, all of your beloved objects, your sacred objects, just seeing your whole home and every object in it, even the garbage bin as being a sacred object. It all has a sacred function on some level. And we're going to fill the whole place with joy. Bubbling enthusiasm is what I'm being given by the Lyrans. And as they bound around us, it's as though the, the very air is tickling us. It's as though the very plasma and the energy around us is you were able to scoop up handfuls of it. And, and it's almost like, like when you see... Um, the bioluminescence in the water at night and you can run your hands to it and it's like sparkles and just imagine that you have sparkles of gold all around you and these little beings are coming in with a message of reassurance and they are saying golden ones golden ones children of light children of the sun solar babies all all who hear us now all who hear the call are the children of light who have come come to bring their codes here to make the whole earth bright our doorway is opening in the false threshold that has been held around the earth for millennia a door is opening and an invitation to the all to join the movement of light is being offered to all of humanity now there are those who are gleefully stepping across with joy in their hearts 
there are those who have chosen to take the step into that higher vibration by leaving the body and ascending. And there are those who are still living with an element of fear or sadness, holding on to the ways of old. And it is for those that we are holding this light, this Eve. We would ask you to light the flame in your heart of joy, of love, of abundance, of miracles, of bliss, of pleasure, the remembrance of an earth where everyone danced and sang and all were one under the one sun in safety, in security, in bliss. A heaven on earth paradigm has existed here multiple times under multiple moons. And the remembrance of this has also existed in multiple star systems, multiple dimensions. And many of you have existed and had lifetimes in those places. And you have brought the codes of those memories here to give to others, to give to others. Each of you know at least one person who has been part of your circle over the years of your life who is struggling to connect to their joy, to the flame of hope within their heart. And it is this person or these people we would invite you to gift a spark of this light to this Eve. Sending the flame, the flame of pleasure, the flame of joy, the flame of exuberance, the flame of vitality, the flame of divinity, the flame of abundance. Allow the image or the face of the person who most needs this gift to appear before you. Be aware that it may not be the person you think it is going to be, but their higher self has brought their soul here to you this eve. We, the Lyrans, wish to assist, for as the frequency raises on the planet, this lion's gate opens into a much vaster gateway for humanity, and an old threshold is being dissolved around the entire planet. However, although the actual energetic threshold is being removed, there are those who will still continue to live as if it is still there. This is their choice. Until they are ready, they cannot be forced to move to a new frequency. It must come from within them. Some, though, have become so indoctrinated in those old ways that they need a helping hand. So heart to heart, we lend this flame. We gift it to you to gift to them, to ignite the divine spark of their joy within their hearts and to be shared from them to all. A ripple effect has begun. This movement cannot be stopped for the frequency of the whole planet is rising she is expanding expanding in light expanding the molecules the cells and the atoms physically vibrating at a higher and faster rate as more light floods the earth floods your bodies floods your being there is indeed space being made for the new, the unexpected, the miraculous. Open your hearts to receive new gifts. This is an exciting journey for those who are embodied on this planet at this time. There is nothing to fear, beloved ones. We look on with hope in our hearts, 
excitement and joy as you enter this new earth, this new paradigm, this new dimension. And it is, it is, it is a new golden age for all. Golden ones, children of the sun, beings of light. Allow your bodies to fill with the memory of who you are. You are not your body. You are the heart of a star. And you have no idea how magnificent you all are and how magnificent yet you are set to become. Open your minds, beloveds, for new truths are being shown to you. Never become stuck in your old ways and belief systems. Always be open to new wisdom and you reserve the right to change your mind at any time and start anew. Let go, beloveds. Allow the light to fill your bellies. Let go of limitations. Let go of lack. Let go of those obstacles you are holding on to. Let go of seeking and start to magnetize to you all that you need. Rest in stillness as often as you can. Recharge yourselves in love, in nature, with good food, good friends, good company. Life in this dimension is about duality, but it is also about harmony and balance. Play, sing, have fun. When you work too hard, you push yourselves and your bodies out of equilibrium. Say yes to more of the things that bring you delight. Let go of your guilt. Let go of your judgment of yourself and let go of allowing yourselves to be judged by others. We would speak to you of the children you call the autistic children. They have come with a powerful message to show you that they have no shame in asking for what they need and putting their needs first. It is clear as day. They are showing you how to let go of societal imprinting that is no longer working for the people of Earth. And it's like they're showing me almost like walls dissolving in our brains. It's like we've we've really built fortresses in our minds of belief systems and programming and 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 it's really like it's so much simpler than that. So the message has been coming through from this collective of the little bouncy spring Lyran beings. But now I have this beautiful Leonine guide coming forward. He came through in my channeling group recently, and he's a huge lion-headed being. He wears a gold crown on his head. His name is Leander. He's he's almost dressed in royal robes. He's bedecked with gold. I mean, all the imagery of sovereignty and 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 um regal regality and royalty and and all of that is just exactly what he is showing me and he's just this golden robe and this incredible golden mane even golden earrings and at the moment he's just kind of stepping close allowing me to feel his presence and the presence, you may feel him coming in. I feel that he's offering us a message in vibration and you'll just start to feel this build within your body. It's like an overall pulsing 
coming in. It's a golden energy, golden light. And it feels like it's kind of coming from within us and radiating from us, coming from within and radiating from us. And the word I'm being given is, this is your birthright. To know your worth comes from within is the message. To know your value, your true gold comes from within yourself. And you don't need to receive this from anyone else. Many of you have understood and learnt what it feels like to be abandoned, to be rejected, to be turned on, and to literally be on your own, to be your own your own tower, your own champion, your own support. And this has been for a reason. This has been for a reason. And when you have come to the very brink multiple times, often with many of you, when you've come to the very brink of being utterly broken, and yet you have pulled through, you have surrendered, you have trusted in a higher power, you have asked for help, and you have been shown these huge turning points in your life have come from those times when you did not lose faith. You refused to give up, but you surrendered, and surrender is not the same as giving up. And it's like he's saying the message here is this makes you dangerous because there's nothing anyone can take from you. There's nothing anyone can throw at you that is, you know, that, that will break you. This is the diamond soul. When you feel like you have been so crushed or so broken and yet you haven't broken under this level of pressure and against all the odds, you have shone and you continue to shine and you will go on shining. And when people see that they cannot crush you or squash you or break you, and then instead, despite their best efforts, you begin to flourish, you begin to succeed, you begin to put your head above the parapet and shine as brightly as you can, it leaves them scratching their heads and, and asking, what have they got that I don't have? But then they want to discover the secret source of that for themselves. And then they too turn and awaken and step on the path. And this is what we have got going on in the collective now. There are forces who have tried to crush humanity, who've tried to control us, who've tried to squash us, who've tried to make us small. And instead, what they've been doing is polishing us like beautiful crystals. And more and more of us, as we get polished clean, as we realize, oh, well, there's no help for me out there. So the, the power is within me. So, wow, what a power that is. I'm just going to tap into that. I don't need anyone or anything else. And this is really creating a ripple effect out through the masses now. And what he's saying to me is really there's no, you know, like the the ones that have been squashed the most in recent in the in recent times really and he's kind of showing me you know the last few thousand years have been women have been women so crushed and squashed and stepped on and pushed and pulled and manipulated and abused and taken for granted is the biggest word here and the whole He's showing me like this dark veil that fell across the face of the goddess, across the face of the feminine. And now what we have is that veil lifting off the face of the goddess, off the face of the feminine. And these women, the women who have known lifetimes of being denied, the word is denied, are no longer denying themselves. And not just women, because some of the men have had other lifetimes as women as well. And we do we do switch gender as we go through these lifetimes. But he's kind of saying those who have chosen to incarnate as female and to step into the wise woman path on this planet are leading the charge. They're leading this movement, absolutely leading it, because there are those just going, you know what, no more no more 
And this is the, the age of, he's calling it the age of the feminine Christ. And as the feminine Christ comes into her full power, the masculine Christ is now coming into harmony and balance with her. There's this integration. And he's giving a message to all the women who have felt really hurt and frustrated by men and not seen, like all the awakened kind of women who have, you know, husbands or friends or um, partners or fathers or who they just don't feel seen by. He, it's like he's saying those blinkers are going to start coming off now. And as you rise into your full power, it's like you're going to give permission for your sacred um, counterparts and the masculine support to come and hold you now as it was in the days of old because a lot of women have gotten so used to being their own feminine and masculine support and, and just expecting, well, you know, that's not going to happen, but you will be surprised, be surprised. And he's saying, and don't be cynical <laughs> because it is going to start happening. Protect yourself, um, though. There's something about, you know, you'll know it through the frequency, you know, listen to the frequency, not the words, because, you know, you don't, if you've had a, an experience or a history of being manipulated by um he's saying men in the past by men in the past is just to trust that there are good embodied open-hearted men stepping into your vibrational frequency now you're going to start attracting those in to help to support even if it's just the dude in the corner shop who's you know friendly and carries your groceries for you you're going to start to see men step up more and more and more on this planet now into a lot more integrity a lot more dignity a lot more authenticity and we're going to see um, a much higher frequency in the balance of power in terms of leadership is going to start to balance out as well. That's really interesting. I'm sorry if I'm not articulating all of this very well. And I want to also speak to those who, okay, thank you. I'm speaking now to those who identify as gender neutral or any other of the LGBTQIA um, communities. And there is reassurance here for you too because there is a flame being shown to me and it is a flame of harmony. It's a flame of balance. And you guys are really leading the charge to show people about um how deeply our judgment runs on this planet, how deeply our judgment runs on this planet and the distortions that are coming up through that, that word judgment, judgment, and where does that sit in our matrix and each person as an individual having different opinions and, and where that sits. There is also, I believe, when I was in Peru working with Shaman in Peru many years ago, I was told about a prophecy there, and I'm just being reminded of that now, that there, um, they would say that when the people who are um, very balanced in their male-female energy start arriving on the planet, this is the time of the Great Awakening. So there is a, a, a path and a purpose on a sacred, sacred level going on here. We're being shown a lot of this. We're being shown through the children and we're being shown so much through people leading the charge who won't be told who they are and what to do. And this is happening throughout our society and it's live and let live, love and let love, allow people to be who they are with love and compassion. But I do want to say here that there's something very important coming through about women and what has been done to women and we must not allow women to be to continue to be diminished women must be allowed to have a voice we must be allowed to uphold that sacred feminine and to do our sacred work and to be honored because in every um every ancient tribe there was always a chief and a powerful wise woman or medicine woman and they very much held the balance now we're seeing that come through in the individual, whether male or female or gender neutral, we're having to hold that 
same balance of the masculine and feminine within us. And this is the harmonization. This is the beginning of the great balancing, the great rebalancing as I'm being shown. And as we come into true love, true love within ourselves and we truly love ourselves and and remember ourselves whole because there never really was a fall from grace there was never a separation it's all been in our programming and our beliefs we've never lost touch with the divine we've just forgotten we've just thought we've lost touch with the divine is how i see it um but as we come into this beautiful falling in love with ourselves and with our divinity and embracing and beholding the beloved as we come into that love within we're going to experience so much more of that love all around us and again I'm just feeling like oodles of this love being just dumped on us just like love 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 just love each other just love each other just love each other you're all children of light under the one sun you're all part of the one soul divine whether above the threshold or below it whoever you are whoever you are you are loved you are loved you are loved and you are so deserving of so much more and Earth is your pleasure garden. And if you trust, if you absolutely trust that all your needs will be met, then they truly, truly will. As we're deprogramming from these systems, of course, we're going to go through layers of this. We may be in utter disbelief of it for a time. We might feel completely, you know, cynical about it, but even bitter about it as we watch the sort of dismantling of the old. But we must hold this high frequency of hope and trust and faith and not buy into any illusions of fear. He is handing each of us like an orb, you know, like the royal scepter and the royal orb. We're each being given an orb and a scepter, the masculine and the feminine together, together, and all, all together. And the final word that he just wants to um it's like he's singing it and it's community 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 is the way forward community is the way forward how can you start to get more involved in your community in loving ways is there you know something you can you can offer to your community by way of service how can you get involved um look at ways where you know youngsters might be supporting the elderly or maybe there's it, it doesn't all have to be volunteer work but you know be out in your community connect with people meet with people especially those who match your vibration see the light shining through their eyes recognize the divine in them and in yourself and then you will see them in you and you in them you'll see the other shining back at you as a part of you recognize that everyone is an aspect of yourself on some level and that will help you to drop the scales of judgment from your eyes and see the divine shining through every single soul on this planet including the animals and you'll see the light radiating from the plants and you will know yourselves divine once more as a humanity and he is just reminding me that this is, you know, we're coming into a frequency that the Galactic Councils of Light, you know, that it's just this would be probably akin to like their lower frequency, <laughs> but we're coming into this incredible euphoric frequency and it feels uncomfortable when we first try it on. It feels like, oh, we're not allowed to feel that. Oh, that's a bit much, isn't it? You know, like how, how many of us have been so sort of self-deprecating it's like oh no I couldn't possibly no I mustn't say yes to this that the other let it in <laughs> let it in it's love it's joy it's peace it's bliss and it is your birthright it is your birthright it is your birthright he's giving us these templates and I just see it like this huge golden shimmering light grid that's coming down as we observe it coming down around the planet and this is taking the place of that old threshold and we're anchoring it right into the surface of the earth. So just like it's going below the surface of the earth and it's connecting in with all the grids of gold and all the precious metals and precious stones and minerals. It's going into the mineral kingdom here. And that is going to help 
stabilize and shore up our foundations for the next part of our journey. But he's just again reminding me that this lion's gate is probably bigger than we've experienced in recent years. There's a heck of a lot of solar activity coming in. There's a heck of a lot of um, just golden light frequency bathing us and showering us with light. And we're each being gifted this beautiful regal gold. It's like a fur cloak. It's almost like we're being given a lion's mane each um, as part of this uh, transmission and message. And it's honour the sovereignty within all. Honour the sovereignty within all. Drop the judgment. Love everyone as your brothers and sisters. See the divine in everyone. And you will, you will receive evidence of it shining back at you, no matter who the other person is, no matter who, where the situation or what is going on. Is Let yourselves recognise that this is the new earth that this is the new earth. And I'm also being shown just as a final thing, and I feel I was shown this a number of years ago, that a lot of the borders are going to start to be dissolved on this earth and humans will start to roam freely around the earth again in sovereignty. And again, he's showing me, so I think it was back in 2019, I was shown a golden passport, which was like a sovereign passport, and it feels to me like this may start to be an option for people who are, you know, naturally nomadic, that we may actually be given a new passport, which is a sovereign passport, which allows you to go live or move wherever you want on the earth. It, it crosses all borders. Whether that is an energetic thing or whether that's actually going to be a physical thing that's going to happen, I really hold trust in that because this is not the first time I've seen it. I've been shown it, and um, and if we look at the indigenous, they were nomadic. They didn't stay in one place, and they only used what they needed, and they always gave back to the earth. And the tribes of light, the rainbow tribe, this is who we are, honouring sovereignty. I feel like I, I can't see a timeline, I'd like a time frame for this, but I feel like it's already in play. I feel like this is already in play for those of us doing global grid work because I've often found that I've been able to travel through closed borders and things, especially during the, the pandemic and stuff, like energetically doors just open when I need to do the work. So it feels like we're all being offered this sovereign passport and just trust if you're guided to go somewhere, if you really feel it in your bones that you need to be in a place, just follow the call. You never know who you might meet. You never know what might be um, open to you, but I'm seeing it like a, a, a casket of treasure being opened and all the treasures flying out. So when you follow the call of your soul, you will be rewarded. And each of us are being given a golden crown. And Leander is just saying thank you so much for holding me in reverence and allowing me to speak and it's been a bit of a different channeling for me, this one, because it ha it's been more like a translation of his of what he's been transmitting to me. He's been very much transmitting to me more through um, frequency than than words. It's been more of a light language transmission coming from him. So I'm sorry if I haven't articulated things as well as I ordinarily would in a direct channel. He's talking to me in frequency, and I'm more trying to interpret. Um, what he's saying through the feelings and the codes being given it's weird I, I it's a different way to channel normally when I channel like this it just comes through as light language so he's very much just imprinting this message on me and I'm having to try and put it from a holographic energetic um, frequency into linear human language um, I do apologize if anything